Virtual reality. It's the prodigal child of the future as we knew it when we were kids, aside from flying cars, of course. It's come a long way in the last few years alone and has become an ever-increasingly powerful tool for many industries, not least of which is industrial design. VR allows designers to create and explore 3D designs in a more immersive and interactive way than ever before, and there are certainly a couple of different ways that VR can make its way into your design process. This brings us to one of the most exciting applications for VR in industrial design. Designers can create virtual prototypes that can be looked over in a digital environment with the ability to review the design in 3D space, allowing for quicker iterations and a more cost-effective development process. Now, many of you who are following the recent zeitgeist of industrial design and its popular applications would definitely have heard of Gravity Sketch. So far, Gravity Sketch seems to have forged itself as one of the best tools for a designer to be able to quickly ideate and iterate on simple form concepts directly in 3D space, with the ability to create strokes, surfaces, and geometries alike. Gravity Sketch also understands that this is an entirely different universe compared to what we're generally used to dealing with in concept generation. We learn to sketch on paper, then sketch in Photoshop or Sketchbook, and then we learn to make 3D models in CAD. And now we've got this tool that seems almost like the next progression in that lineage. That being said, it can get pretty intimidating to start with. They obviously knew this would be the case, and they have a pretty great set of tutorials that help you walk through the functionality of the software. Again, I must reiterate, this stuff is crazy fun. Recording the content for this video was a blast in just experimenting with all the different features it has. I picture the use of the likes of Gravity Sketch, depending on your comfort zone, to lie somewhere between the primary ideation stage, the iteration stage, and the stage at which you're happy with some ideas and want to take it over to CAD. Here's how I think this might look. For primary ideation, this thing is the best sandbox mode you could have imagined. Just an endless amount of 3D space for you to sketch to your heart's content. And yes, you can absolutely stick reference images and even CAD data to your workspace floating wherever you'd like it to. Something I didn't think of, however, is how much this puts you in a zone devoid of any sort of distractions. It may come to the point that you'll actually have to set alarms for yourself because once you get in, there's very little indication of how much time you end up spending in there. Gravity Sketch probably caught on to this because they have a little clock on your controller, which I have to appreciate because I haven't seen such a detail in a couple of the other games that I've tried out. It is dangerously easy to lose track of time in VR. Iteration is just as fun and easy as getting your first ideas into the space. The application has a nifty layers functionality that lets you organize your work. Modifying strokes, surfaces, etc. are a breeze, and you'll genuinely love the amount of precision you can get, at least in terms of getting your ideas illustrated just right. Finally, getting your data over to a CAD software of your choice is pretty simple as well. It has a couple of export options, and your Gravity Sketch account itself has a gigabyte of cloud storage. I was also able to import sketches straight into Fusion 360. Generally, some sort of reference CAD helps a lot for not only the iteration within Gravity Sketch, but the alignment and scaling after exporting as well. As you saw, I've been making some watch design iterations, and I was able to take it from an idea to some iteration on Gravity Sketch, and finally a CAD model and the resultant 3D print in no time at all. Your line work and surfacing provides some really great reference for the eventual CAD that you will create, further speeding up your eventual output. Now let's get into some limitations of the application regarding this workflow that I've noticed in my time with it so far. The first thing I should likely address is the overall learning curve. Think of it as sketching, but without the tactile feedback of the paper against your hand. That'll need a little bit of getting used to. On top of that, as you'd imagine, it's a new software with a lot of different and some totally new functionalities that one may not be used to. For instance, industrial designers aren't necessarily going to be adept with subdivision modeling. It's definitely not a deal breaker by any means, but just a small point of learning that will need to be undertaken as one traverses through this application. Another thing to mention is that this has not personally been the best place for precision modeling. I think Gravity Sketch shines at being a referential CAD data generator, and you probably shouldn't try to use it to get precise dimensions and tolerancing, when you'd be way better off dialing in the details on the CAD software of your choice. The other exciting application of VR in industrial design is in the area of collaboration. 
As any designer would know, a design is not complete without several rounds of reviewing that design by different sets of eyes and opinions. With Landing Pad Collab, designers can work together in a shared virtual environment regardless of their physical location. By extension, this also makes it much easier to collaborate with team members, clients, and stakeholders throughout the design process, regardless of where they are located. I can see this sort of setup taking internal design reviews and client meetings to the next level of sophistication over the coming years, allowing for local and even global teams to work together on brainstorming sessions, concept refinement, and even the creation of fully decked out presentations that will undoubtedly bring a whole new meaning and dimension to client presentations. Overall, VR has the potential to revolutionize the way industrial design is executed by providing a more immersive and interactive way to create, explore, and refine designs. This has been Akshay Creates, and thank you for watching.